Today I have a tale to tell of youth and prodigy, twin brothers whose gifts had blossomed only fame and tragedy. Jacob and Jerusalem were brothers born in Trenton. One was blonde, his heart was young, and one was bland and sullen. Arpeggios and scales, you see, were Jacob's daily bread. He played them morning, noon, and night until his fingers bled. Jerusalem rehearsed a little less than once a week, and always on the tour bus while the band was fast asleep. Girls yelled his name and snuck backstage like hoes on MTV. Jacob's fans were middle-aged and into wine and cheese. The media gobbled, spewed, and bowed to the 13-year-old rock star and his sold-out crowds. Jacob sighed and cried and raged, and still on and on his fingers played. I'm the one who tried and true practiced and endured, while lazy f Jerusalem gets head and goes on tour. Jacob's strings became high-strung. He broke and tortured everyone. So unfair, so darn wrong. He'd had his fill. He found Mom's purse and stole the family Oldsmobile. Enraged, he flew down highways, passing prairies, quarries, and silos, and caught up with Jerusalem in Kansas or Ohio. He barged onto the stage that night. His eyes were glaring, temples flaring, his cello held alight. Jerusalem dropped his microphone and welcomed his brother as though he'd come home. You're not mad? No. Your music is an inspiration. I'm just an empty fad. The audience grew restless, and the owner came out to Bray. I demand an explanation for these shenanigans. What do you have to say? We're gonna need another mic up here on stage. And blissfully, together, brother jammed with brother. And while Jacob took his solo, Jerusalem slipped him this. His favorite lucky keepsake of two brothers in a kiss. <laughs>